What's up, my friend DK here. Welcome back to the channel. And we are going over this Builderall tutorial and review. And today we're going to dive into mailing. Yes, mailing your list every single day. So we're going to talk about how you can do that and some of the best ways to really increase your email deliverability. So in the very first video, which by the way, if you have not gone through from the beginning, if you're catching this video training series uh, with Builderall here, if you haven't gone from the beginning, because whatever reason you just saw this, you got notified and you're catching this halfway through, I believe we're on day number five now of this Builderall tutorial and review. And in the series, showing you guys step-by-step -step how to get some uh, really great results with Builderall uh, with the email marketing. We haven't even gotten into the page builder services yet or the SMS messaging, which we will. So hang tight. But if you haven't done that, do me a favor. Down below this video is a link. You will see a link directly to the playlist. So as an example, let me just go and pull this up for you. So you know what it looks like right down below this video, you're going to see a link and it's going to go to this playlist here. You want to watch this stuff in order. Watch day one first, then go do what is inside day one. Watch day two, then go do what is inside day two. Like if you're catching this halfway through, if you don't have a builder all account, which by the way, if you want to get one in the description down below, you can go get that link and create your builder all account. Uh, one of the best all in one marketing platforms, in my opinion. And I'm literally showing you how to get all that stuff set up in this training series here. So again, I know, you know, a little long-winded here, but just want to make sure you guys have the right information as we go through this process. But it's most important thing here, watch the video, go do. Don't treat this like a binge, a binge series like on Netflix and just you want to plow your way through the videos. Nobody cares. You're not going to get a medal. You're not going to come in first place if you watch them all in one day. You're not going to get anywhere if you don't actually do what I'm showing you. So anyway, back at it. We're going to talk about mailing your list daily. If you are building a list, especially in the niches of affiliate marketing, network marketing, any of that sort of stuff, if you have an online business, you want to be emailing your customers fairly consistently, your leads fairly consistently. So I'm going to show you guys here. If you guys noticed in the workflow, okay, the last workflow that we set up, we set up a little tag here. Okay. So Anytime anybody opens an email, whoop, whoop, it has the open tag, all right? So what I'm gonna show you now is I email my list two times per day. So if you're actually on my email list, um, you can, I think there should be a link down below where you can, if you're not on my email list, you wanna get on my email list, should be a link in the description down below, or you can head over to uh, one of my training series. I know in my five figure, um, free, actually, no, sorry, <laughs> my six figure free um, training series is down below. You can go to that, check it out. There's plenty of links where you can go and get on my email list. Now, I email my list twice a day, once at 6 a.m. in the morning and one at 6 p.m. at night. Okay. So yes, it is okay. It is 1 million percent okay to email your list, especially if you're an affiliate marketer or a network marketer. It's okay to email your list more than once a day. Now, would I email my list five times a day? No, definitely not. However, would I do I email my list currently twice a day? Yeah, I do. Has that dipped my open rates? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know what? You gotta remember this. This is this is really important to remember for the most part, especially if you're in this niche of affiliate or network marketing. Why do people get on your list? You gotta bring it back to the root cause. Is someone going to get on my list ultimately because like I'm a swell guy, I ride Harleys and I hike mountains? Like, no, that's not why someone's going to get on my list. Do I? Is it because I collect watches? No, someone's going to get on my email list because they want to learn how to make money, right? That's probably the same reason that you would do it. Hey, what are some tips, things, tricks, you know, things that you guys can learn to increase, you know, your chops to go learn more, to be more, do more, have more. That's why you want to get on my list so you can learn how to do things. You can learn how to increase your income, learn how to maybe do some of the things that I do that have allowed me to work from home for years, doing exactly what I'm showing you and teaching you how to do right now. That's why you go get on my list. That's why you get on anyone's list because you won't want to learn how to make more money. End of story, right? So that's why I email twice a day because that's what the people want. They want to learn how to do that stuff, right? Now, if you're teaching people how to sew, or how to bake a cake might be a little different. 
in this business niche that we're in, affiliate network marketing. So what we do, we email minimum of once, twice per day. If you're going to go more than that, it's totally up to you. Anyway, jumping off my soapbox now, we're going to go over here and I'll show you literally what it looks like to mail your list every single day. So we're going to go over here to campaigns. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to hit right here. We're going to hit create new campaign. Okay. This is simple stuff right here. Now we're going to name the name, name the campaign. I'm going to call this, uh, we're just going to call this BC for broadcast, right? All right. And then I always just do the date because the date's just really easy to remember. So let's say we're going to send an email out uh, tomorrow morning. So today is the 8th. So we're going to go 0709. So BC 0709, and we're going to call this test for sure, because I know it's a test. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose our list, right? We're going to choose our list. And even though we have no subscribers, we can still queue up uh, the email here. I can also you know, show you in another list too. What we're going to do is now we're going to go over, instead of emailing the entire list. So let's just say hypothetically, I'll pick a different list just so you can visually see what's going on here. So we'll use uh, social leads, right? Uh, this is these are leads that come off of social media, TikTok, uh, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, whatever, right? Uh, this is a fairly new campaign or fairly new uh, sequence. So we're going to select social leads, but this one right here might be a little tough for you to see, but you can see that it says 320 subscribers, right? 320 leads. We're not going to send all 320 subscribers. We're only going to send to those that have opened an email. This is going to help your overall email deliverability. This is going to help you land in the inbox, in the primary folder, because you're only sending to the openers. And trust me, all the ESPs, all the email service providers, they know all this information. They know who's openers, who's not, who's been blacklisted. And yeah, some of your subscribers might be blacklisted, right? Do you want to go emailing to them? Because you know that stuff's going to go right to spam. You want to email the openers, okay? So what we're going to do here, down where it says campaign tag filters. That's what we're gonna use, okay? So we're gonna select the tag filter. What tag are we gonna do? Now for you, you guys, in the tutorial that I did, we created the uh, open tag, right? So you could just type it in manually, or you could just select it if it comes up automatically, or you could just type in uh, the word open. For me, I have a tag called engage, so I could go engage like that. And it says right here, says must have the tag. Okay, you see that right there? It says must have the tag. So meaning all this, the 320 subscribers, it's only gonna go to the people that have the tag engaged. So it's not gonna be the full 320. It's gonna be probably about a third of the list, maybe a little more than a third of that list. Now, if I have other lists, which I do, that have that engaged tag, okay? So if you have other lists, that you're filtering people through. Like as an example, I have, I think three or four different lists coming from three or four different workflows and they all have that same engage tag. So anytime someone an, opens an email in any of those lists, they have that engage tag. So as an example, if I wanted to add another list, you can do that right here. So you just go to add new list. So, and I can choose, let's say I'll choose, uh, this one right here that says um, TA leads and ads. These are people that come from paid advertising. So the first list here is social leads. This other one is, um, is paid advertising. Now, both of those, both of those lists, when someone opens an email, it attaches the engage tag. So what does that mean? This filter, this tag filter also applies to this other list down here. So if you add more lists on, Again, it's only people that have that engage tag. So right here where it says segment, you don't have to do anything with that. You can literally just leave that blank and then hit save and next. Okay. Now, again, we're going to send a daily campaign. So what are we going to do? We're going to pull up our template. Okay. Demo test template. We're going to pull that up. Bam. It's got the picture in there. We're going to type whatever we want for our email. Um, I always like to, I like to put the link in the email as usually the first or second line in the email. So uh, something like uh, click here to activate your account and verify your um, commission qualifications. OK, 
Okay. Will you do this today? It only takes a minute or two. And I always like to throw a little PS in there. You guys would know this if you're on my email list. My, my email writing style, by the way, is very direct, very direct. Again, remember, let's go back to the principle. And if you're an affiliate and network marketer, why do people get on your list? Because they want to make money. So do I need to write some big, long, dramatized story? Do I need to like focus on all that, like the whole building, no like, and trust and writing like this big, huge, long email and why you need my product or service? No. Hey, you want to learn how to make money? Click here. I mean, <laughs> that's about as simple as it gets, man. People like stupid simple. Trust me when I tell you that. So that's why my emails, if you're ever on my email list, which you probably should be if you're learning this stuff, you know, short and punchy works so much better than long and boring. Let me just tell you that right now. P.S. Uh, if you want some free training and step, right, step by step instructions on how to get even more. Commission streams. Click here. That's it. Got to make sure we spell stuff right. Boom. Make sure all our fonts are the same size. 21. We like 21. Boom. And then we simply put our links in there, right? So, boom. You should have all your links. You should have all your links if you're using ClickBank links, affiliate links whatever it is on a Word doc that is easily, easily accessible. So when you're writing these emails, copy that, paste it right in there, boom. Okay, select that, go over here, grab my other link, grab my course link, okay, which goes to my YouTube channel. By the way, that free course, that free training that I'm talking about in the description down below. So there you go. I mean, that's about as short and punchy as you get. Super sweet, super simple. Let's come over here. Okay. I'm going to make that Daniel. We're going to put in a subject line. Um, uh, I can just put uh, one personal message for put the little email, do that in there. Just so you guys know, like uh, if you're using first name on a form, you see these like little brackets right here. Um, all you need is uh, one of those on each side. And then you can do either first name, which would be F name. So I'll type that out what that would look like. If you, if you do have on your form, when we go to the page builder part of this training series, uh, if you want their first name, again, I covered this in another video, just be F name like that versus email. But I just, I just collect email, email, usually just email alone on a capture page gets a much higher opt-in rate. Uh, just so you know, once you put first name on there, you put name, email, and phone those opt-in rates go down. Now, granted, you might get a higher quality lead, but I focus on quantity uh, myself. That's just me. All right, so one personal message for that. Boom, hit save and next. So what do we change? We change the from name and then we put a subject line in there. That's it. Then we schedule it when we want it to go out. So I can send it out, let's say tomorrow. You pick your time. Let's say we're going to do 12 p.m. Uh, tomorrow. Don't forget to save the time, save the time right there. Okay, that's going to be queued up, good to go. Uh, then all we do is we literally hit save and activate. Hit save and activate, that's it. And that's how you go through and you set up a daily campaign. Once that's ready to rock, I would always recommend too, uh, sending out a test email for yourself, double check your links, make sure everything's good to go right there. Okay, so we can send out a test email, make sure that works, but it will. So um, other than that, you can just hit, once you set your time, you hit save and activate, and that is going to save it. So I'll show you right here. I'm going to hit save and activate. All right. So you see right here, it says the test. We set that up. It's going to these two lists. Uh, it's going to the social leads and uh, TA ads list right there. And it's going to go specifically to just the folks on those lists with the engaged tag. That's how you send to just your openers. So you establish that in your workflow by setting that up. Remember the framework that we talked about? We're setting up the basic fundamentals now. So as you start building your list, as people start going to your site, your form, your capture page, we're building an email list, right? 
And we're only going to be emailing the openers. That's how you get really high email deliverability. But we set that foundation up. We did it in another video, but we set that foundation up in the beginning. So now when you want to email and you want to mail on a day-to-day -day basis, you're only going to be emailing the openers. You have that already set up. You don't have to go back in, you know, trace back. It's already set up for you. Okay. So that is it. And you'll see right here, it literally says pending sending, and it's going to send tomorrow. So if today's the eighth, so it's going to send tomorrow at 12 PM. Okay. Just like that. So boom, bam, good to go right there, ready to rock. And that's what it looks like, my friend. That's what it looks like. So that's what it looks like to mail daily. And that is part of segmenting those lists and only sending to the openers. Okay. Simple, easy stuff right here. And it just takes a little bit of practice. It just takes going through it a time or two, but don't worry, you're not going to break anything. And again, remember this, this is also really, really important. As you're going through this process with Builderall, and I've had to do this several, several, several times, uh, feel free to use support. I've had to use support multiple times. They have a live chat that you can literally use uh, daily. So use support. I'll even show you here what that looks like. If you're going through this process and for whatever reason, uh, if you get uh, sidetracked, if you get pulled off course, you get whatever, uh, you just click on that support. Okay. It's going to open up a separate tab here. You can see they have chats, which is the live chats, and then you have tickets, right? So go down here where it says create chat, and then you just select which department, whether it be payments or support, and then boom, you just go use the live chat right there, really easy to do. And as you can see here, I've used live chat several times. You're on my live chat tickets. I've used live chat uh, several, several times. So uh, there you go, my friend, ready to rock, ready to roll. So that is it. I'm going to keep this video short uh, as we get into the Cheetah page builder. I'm going to use that. I'm not going to combine email and page building. I'm going to use a separate video for that. So now do yourself a favor. Go check that out. If you want to go set up a daily campaign, you can. Obviously, if you don't have any leads coming in yet, no worries. Just make sure that you know and understand the process. So other than that, I will see you on the next video. If you've watched the video up until this point, thank you. I appreciate you. You are awesome and you rock. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, get notified anytime I post new content here on my channel. Also, anytime I add a new video to this um, Builderall tutorial series here, because I'm sure I'm going to be doing that as I go and continue to learn and get more information, whether it be about the page builder, the email marketing, mailing boss, or uh, about the SMS messaging, which we haven't gotten into yet. And we will, as we go on further in this series. So hope you guys are enjoying this, uh, builder all tutorial and review. If you are hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you my friend on the next video. Take care.